Well, we're looking at Bob Winter Oats here, and uh, frankly, I'm a little bit surprised. I'm not exactly sure uh, what to say or think about these, because this is a winter oat. It's a winter mm -hmm. annual. It's not a real cold hardy winter annual. We would not necessarily plant this in Nebraska in the fall and expect it to overwinter. Once in a while it will if we get some good snow cover. But typically for overwintering, you know, you need to be getting down into Oklahoma and Texas for these to really be fall planted and overwinter uh, consistently and well. So these are planted in April. Uh, I don't think it got cold enough to fertilize these. Uh, but yet you can see that these are fully headed out and really look quite nice. Yeah, uh, so I'm, 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 a shocker. I'm a little bit surprised at how well they look uh, being a winter annual planted in April. And so maybe somebody watching this video will, will call in and, and tell us tell us why it did this. Yeah. But uh, you know, just looking at this, let me know. I, I just I just want to ask Dale, you know, what about Bob? <laughs> um, well, of all the cereals, oats have the best forage quality. And so if you are in a region where, you know, if your situation is that you desire quality forward, animal performance, and you can grow a winter oat, you're going to get better animal performance out of oats than you will out of triticale or rye or, or even barley. Um, you just have better forward. Also, it gives you some diversity. Um, oats are not susceptible to some of the diseases that affect uh, wheat or triticale or rye, and so if you do have one of those diseases or insects that move in, um, you, you, again, diversity allows you to hedge your bets, and uh, when you get farther south, and, and I would say typically this is I-40 south, is where uh, Bob gets used quite a little bit, um, gives you very, very good quality yeah. pasture. But the other thing, you know, like up here in Nebraska and the northern part of Kansas, you know, we do sometimes use these winter oats, and like the classic black winter oats, we could use these as a fall planted crop, not necessarily thinking that they're going to overwinter, but just to get more growth deeper into the fall and the right. early part of winter. Uh, so like for some of these prevented plant acres this year, this might be a good choice to plant in August, uh, knowing that it's going to grow deeper into November yeah. than what, what a white spring oak would. Right, and, and there's that extra degree of cold tolerance, so it will stay green longer. Mm -hmm. It also tends to kind of head out when you plant it. Sometimes the white oats, the true spring oats, uh, will head out in November or December, and you lose a good bit of your forage quality when you do that. If, if grazing in the late fall is, is a priority, that's where uh, the black oats or the bob winter oats uh, really shine. They, they maintain that forage quality longer into the fall than what the, the spring oats do.